Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me. I am the guy that with his family sold literally everything he owned three and a half years ago. His house, his cars, his companies went all into Bitcoin and started to travel the world as a family. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you from a beautiful hill in Alicante, Spain. In today's video, we are mainly going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you what the bears are thinking. I'm going to show you what the bulls are thinking. I'm going to show you some real cool charts I'm going to show you some fractals that if we repeat them, I'm going to show you the result. Aside of the Bitcoin price, we are going to talk about the institutional FOMO. We are going to talk about institutional FOMO. We are going to talk about personal coins. And I will end the video by talking about a non-custodial DEX and a non-custodial staking service and how now some coins already do 1500% in a day. Enjoy today's video, guys. Hi guys, let's take a jump into an amazing place with an amazing view. Whoop. Hi guys, welcome to this beautiful area. Let's take a walk and talk about blockchain, Bitcoin and live. Short video today guys because I have a podcast and an interview. So I need to do a short one because I need to edit it and upload it very quickly because my internet is not good here in Spain. This is why the videos are posted that late because it takes about two and a half till three hours to upload my videos into YouTube. So sorry for that, but I can't help it. The 4G is not fast enough. The internet in the house is not fast enough. So at the moment, I can't post the videos earlier. Yesterday we went to the beach. I thought maybe at the beach restaurant they have a speed internet, but they didn't have a speed internet. The internet was even slower over there. So that was why the video was posted yesterday evening. Sadly, I couldn't pay with my Bitcoins at the beach like you can in South Korea now, like I explained in yesterday's video, but I was not possible to pay with my Bitcoins here in Spain. The beach was nice, the water was warm, the beds were perfect, we could sunbathe, we had a beautiful lunch there, while I now see this amazing view over there, guys. Um, the lunch was uh, very nice. I couldn't pay with Bitcoin for the lunch, but of course I used my crypto debit card. This time I used my Bitsa card. Uh, this card is created by Bitnovo, a Spanish company. Really cool card that you can use all over the world. And they have a very nice thing. That is that the card is also usable by kids from 14 years old. Not many debit cards allowing kids to use these cards while kids have the future. We need to include these kids into our industry and Bitsa is doing this by giving a Bitsa young card to kids from 14 years old. So do check them out. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not affiliated to the company. I just like what they are doing for the space. So check them out at Bitsa.com. Let's talk about Bitcoin and then about the news. I'm going to try this without walking around, but just standing on this very beautiful point here on this hill where I have an amazing view. But of course, you're the audience, you're my subscribers, you're my followers, so you deserve this view. So I will turn around so you can enjoy this view while I enjoy the green bushes over there. <laughs> there needs to be a difference, isn't it? I'm doing this for you, so, so you should be the ones enjoying this beautiful view on my background. Did you read the news about this biggest business intelligence company publicly traded on the NASDAQ that they now bought $250 million worth of Bitcoin? That's about 21,000 Bitcoins. Why are they doing this? They are now doing this because they trust Bitcoin tremendously. They are using Bitcoin as their reserve capital of their publicly traded company. I think the company is worth 1.2 billion US dollars or something, but their reserve capital 
fully went into Bitcoin to 150 million US dollars. This is so cool, guys. This is the largest publicly traded business intelligence company that is now using Bitcoin as their primary reserve asset. So they exchange all their fiat into Bitcoin to use Bitcoin as their primary reserve asset. What do you think that will happen to the Bitcoin price if all these companies will follow their footsteps, if all these public traded companies will follow their footsteps and will exchange their fiat reserve capital into this Bitcoin reserve asset? This would be huge for the whole industry. I think this is just the start of an institutional FOMO. I have been talking about many times already in my videos. This is the start. These companies all don't want to miss out on this next Bitcoin bull run. These companies all don't want to miss out on protecting their capital from a huge crash or inflation that we probably are going to see in the next couple of years. So it's not only about making profit, it's also about protecting your capital. And this is one of the first huge companies that now is doing this. And I think many will follow, but I will come back to this institutional FOMO in a bit. Let's talk about the Bitcoin price, guys. The Bitcoin price. In the Bitcoin price, let's take a look again at the bears and the bulls. The bears are expecting Bitcoin to go down. The bulls are expecting Bitcoin to go up. The bears now think that we could see the same as we see on this chart. Bam! This chart is showing you a fractal. This is a fractal that happened in August 2019. We tested the 12K region, I think for a week. A week long, we tried to break the 12K. Then we didn't break the 12K and we saw a 20% drop all the way back to 10K, as you can see on the chart. Bears now think that we are testing this 12K again and again, and then bam, fall back. 20% to the 10k region which is still not bad if we bounce back above 10,500 I think because then we would still be acting above this huge resistance we have been fighting for a long time 10,500 US dollar and some other bears they are saying no 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 we are going to copy this fractal we already saw in May this year you can see this one on this chart bam on this chart you can see also if we would copy this fractal we would crash all the way below 11k again we are now hovering around 11,200 us dollar so yes this is possible because it's just a small dip to go below 11k from this point on this fractal on the chart you can see that if we copy the black line into this current situation we could see a dip below 11k then again go up to 12k maybe even break that area and go even higher though the bears are focused on the short term while i'm always so focused on the long term because if you zoom out you can see many fractals that happened before and you can see also what happened after these fractals took place let's take a look at this chart bam do you see this chart beautiful zoom in at the area around 2015 2016 where you can see these two squares following each other and you can see these fractals in these two squares the first square happened then we can copy that fractal into the second square it happened again and then when we broke out of this second square we can see this huge bull run all the way up to 20k so if we take a look on this chart to today yes we can see the same two squares yes we could copy this may fractal we saw yes we could go be 11k and then again up to 12k all of this can happen but why do you think i always say to you guys you need to zoom out in crypto because if you zoom out on this chart and you can see what happened after these two squares in 2015 2016 on the chart we could see the same now again don't stress about the minute and the hour charts if you're not a day trader do stress about the monthly and the yearly charts and, and then probably you won't even be stressing because if you zoom out you can see we are just up front of a huge kick-ass bull run if you buy now don't worry about the little thing everything is going to be all right we are going to see a bull run in the next two years yes we will have some ups and downs but at the end all these small movements will be nothing compared to the price we will be reaching in the next two years so please don't freak out too much when you see these drops always start to zoom out 
when you think you're starting to freak out because zooming out on the charts will make you feel way more comfortable way more relaxed and will make it possible for you to zoom in at life and enjoy every single minute of the day go to the beach go to fish go to do sports go to do whatever you like but don't freak out on the charts and like I said to come back to the institutional FOMO guys you can see this also on some charts let's take a look at this chart BAM on this chart you can see the CME futures open interest guys we are now around 841 million this is a new all-time high this is also an indicator that these institutions are feeling FOMO they have the fear of missing out on this next bull run so they are buying into Bitcoin massively this is one of the reasons we see this new all-time high in this Bitcoin futures open interest if you look how massively we have been growing from March this year till now this is an insane growth and I think this growth will even become bigger and bigger and bigger because all these institutions slowly start to understand that Bitcoin could be the perfect hedge the perfect tool to protect their wealth to protect their capital Bitcoin is becoming exactly what many people have been shouting for years no at the moment it's not the peer-to-peer -peer cash that was stated in Satoshi's white paper maybe we could reach that step in the far future but first now we need to create mass adoption and this mass adoption we need to see as well in this financial markets and the financial markets and all these financial institutions are now slowly stepping into this world and adopting Bitcoin as a beautiful hedge and protection of their wealth and capital on this chart BAM you can also see that the option market has been growing tremendously again also an indicator that all these institutions are now trading Bitcoin are now accumulating Bitcoin because you can see that the lines are going up they are not going down they are going up more and more options are traded on the CME and many other exchanges as you can see on this chart and guys let's not forget that we are now seeing this insane return on investments on some coins as well did you see serum SRM this coin yesterday went up 1500% in one day 1500% in one day man it feels like 2017 again it feels like the ICO period where all these coins be exploding thousands of percents you can compare this whole DeFi industry boom hype with the whole ICO hype in 2017 because where else in the world where else in the market can you make 1500% in a day SRM has done this really cool because yesterday I was talking about Qtum you know I told you guys a Qtum was going to give this new kind of decentralized non-custodial staking service where you hold your private keys yourself instead giving them away to a custodial service I think SRM is doing some kind of the same I still need to dig into the project because I didn't even know about the project till this morning today when I woke up in my beautiful camper van and saw a 1500% run in this coin so I'm going to dig deeper in this project and talk about it a little bit more in one of my next videos. And then the last news I want to share with you guys is that we can see on Uniswap now these personal tokens are booming. This really makes me think to start my own personal token. Let's call it the DD coin whatever and then you can start to trade the DD coin on Uniswap I don't know yet what I'm going to offer you back for buying my DD coin I need to think about it but if I see that these people now raise 25,000 US dollar by launching their coin and by giving people the opportunity to decide to make decisions about their life I think it's a really cool thing that could have a huge and bright future because in my opinion it's a way of um, monetizing your skills you have a set of skills you create your token 
and then you offer your skills to companies and people that believe in your set of skills will invest in your token and they will be very convinced that you with your skills will ge will generate money in the future and then you will be a shareholder of that DD token and so you're going to get a return on investment a really cool way of monetizing your skills almost comparable to like somebody that is very skilled in football and you can buy into this contract because he has a football player is giving out his football token and then he becomes a football star and you just share in the revenue that he is making of signing this huge new contract deal i think there's a lot of possibilities for these personal tokens but again i need to dig into this how to even create the dd coin but i want to do it so i know how it works and so i can educate you on how i did it how it worked and what you could do with it in the future that was the video for today's guys i hope you really enjoyed this short video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel share it with your communities hit the notification bell so you will be notified on every new video i make and please leave a comment because i would love to reply to your comments and still you need to let me know what kind of crazy thing do you want me to do when we reach 10k subscribers to our youtube channel we are now around 7300 so probably it will take some time but we can start to think about this crazy cool thing i need to do when we reach 10k subscribers on youtube again thank you for watching and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again bye no no i've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest no no this ain't easy darling because the devil's on my